Hey, what's up guys? It's Jennings Tech here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get good lock on your Galaxy S5. So if I go to Galaxy apps here, you see it's not in here. They don't have good lock for the Galaxy S5. I think it's just the S7, but you can bypass that. So you see here, I am running Android 6.0.1. Uh, here we go. Right there, 6.0.1. That's all you need to get good luck. So, um, I, uh, Galaxy, uh, wow, sorry. Android 6.0.1 I already rolled out for the Galaxy S5, so you should be good already. Just check your downloads or your updates, I mean, and then you should be good to go. But, yeah, so. Anyways, so what you're going to do is, I'll leave a link in the description, but what you're going to do is, you're going to go to Good Lock on APK Mirror, and you're going to scroll down, um, it's a newer version apparently, just ignore any ads, that's show. So you're going to download it, hit OK, see it's downloading now. It's a little bit to download. This does replace your system UI, so it's going to uh, restart your device and whatnot. All right, so it's finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open, and hit good luck, hit install. And if it if it um, does show some install block, just hit settings and then tap on them sources, hit OK, and then you should be able to download your file. So right now it's installing. See, so get rid of the system UI. So I hit open. It says the device will restart. So let it restart. So it's gonna go ahead and restart for us. And then, uh, yeah, it should be good to go. Then after that, we should have our good lock installed. gonna turn on and uh, there you go so there it is that's good luck it finally installed so breathe the smart life into your galaxy so hit start um, you can place a widget that you frequently frequently use hidden widgets list has appeared when you drag down the area um, notifications list is dragged it's open when you drag down the area um, you can run the application to use frequently and you can add and delete at any time so um yeah there's that so this pretty much is for any device that's running or any Samsung device that's running marshmallow so I did the same thing with my note 4 I may do a video about it but yeah so you see we have good lock now uh, we have our notifications here and uh, yeah you see we have this cool little animation here and then we have some apps we can drag open here yeah uh, uh, you got this cool little uh what's it called here a little I don't know what it's called but so when you swipe up here I'm go ahead and swipe up on here there you go you see here, um, you have, you know, your other app, so I can hit edit. And then you see you have this little wave up here. Um, so you can just, like, drag it around if you want to. Or whatever you want to do. Or you can add it. But, go ahead and unlock. And then, enter the pattern. And there we go. So, you see up here, our notifications have been changed up. You got more of his stock Android type look here. So if I swipe down, there we go. Um, you got all and keeping your notifications now. Um, swipe to the right to move and keep. Swipe to the left to just get rid of it, period. Um, you can press and hold the notification. Then you can rearrange. The, uh, stuff here so yeah there's all that there 
So uh, if I go ahead and press and hold on to it, there we go. So I can put it in the folder, I can see more information. Hi, no D unlock screen previews and pop ups. So, yeah, yada yada. And if I go ahead and do that, you have your management here with your notifications. Um, so, here you have your brightness, you have Wi Fi that keeps turning off, off for some reason. You have auto rotate that also turns off for some reason. You have your flash, so. Flash is on, so turn that back off. Um, you have, like I said, Wi Fi, you have uh, NFC that doesn't turn off on you, as you can see in the notifications. Um, you see here, swipe down. Um, yeah, so you got more of this stock Android type look on it, and who knows, this could be uh, Samsung for Android N, so stay tuned. But anyways, you have your S search or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, there's that. S Finder actually looks a little different though. I wonder if it was just like an update or it came with like a lollipop or what. But I don't know. It's pretty interesting. But up here you have, I believe it's Quick Connect. I tapped it before and it didn't show. And it's not showing again. So I don't know what's up with that. But this is your good lock settings here. So um, you got routines here. So you can arrange apps and widgets in which you can make frequent use in the specific situation. And you can make or you can set up useful functions you can which you can need. Yeah, I'm not the best reader. <laughs> um, anyways, here you have your type of clock, or you can just use a widget. So you here you have this, you have this, you have this. You have, I actually like this. Um, this, this. Oh yeah, that's it. So next, we have our color theme. So if you don't like all the purple-ish and purple that and purple whatever, you can go ahead and change that. But I'm gonna keep it as it is. So next, and finish. Yeah. Then you have a lock screen. So uh, I like the bouncing color. I'll show you that right now. So this is the bouncing color. So you see it's just bouncing around doing this thing. I don't know, I just like it. None. Just your regular swipe as you was. Wood. Rectangle Traveler. Okay. It's a pretty basic blind. Yeah, we've seen this before. It wasn't even in, uh, well, yeah, it wasn't even good luck. It was just like regular Samsung. Oh, this is the Galaxy S4 uh, animation right here. The lens flare. Nice. Anyways, um, here taking a little trip, no, um, throwback here with the lens flare. Anyways, you got blurry effects, so. If I swipe down here, wait, huh, don't show. Um, 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 um. Uh, battery low. Is it blurred now? No? That's actually kind of weird. It's not blurring for some reason. So, uh, here, let me try something. If I go here, actually, if I go here, it's still not blurring. Okay, that's definitely strange, but maybe if you restarted or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's another, that's another thing. So I don't know if they changed the icons for this good lock, but... Eh, it looks alright. Yeah, multi-window, app tray. So, uh... 
trying to go to this and hit the multi window button okay now what all right multitasking is the same um yeah so it's not really that much else that's changed in here just to keep and whatnot um Verizon wireless uh auto rotate hotspot settings didn't change at all you got your same old settings i don't see one thing that brings up good luck so uh yeah there's that but yeah just moved it to keep that was wrong you guess right to the left or you know, yeah left um what's this oh it's just this stuff I don't know. Maybe if I do restart the phone, maybe it will do it. I'm not sure. Let's see about that. Anyways, let's check here. Is it going to blur for us now? Okay, well... I think the background, yeah, the background just kicked in. It's still not blurring. That's that's kind of strange. I don't know about that. That's kind of weird, but if you want, just take it off. All you gotta do is just go to Good Lock and uninstall it. So where's Good Lock? There you go. And then hit uninstall. And bam. So after that, it's going to say install finish, and then it has to restart your device. And then what it's going to do is it's going to just put everything you had right back to the normal. So it's going to put everything you had right back to the way it was. So nothing will be affected, and you will be happy because none of your settings got reset it. But... Yeah, that looks like that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Jenny Sec for more videos. Hit that thumbs up if you like this. Um, oh, yeah. Um, pretty good app. I like it. Good luck. Um, it was originally for the Galaxy S7. You see here, now we got our old lock screen back. In our old... Touch with marshmallow galaxy style yada yada. So yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.